welcome back to the Scoop Duck YouTube channel, everybody. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Max Torres. Um, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're coming out with new content each and every week. Today, we got a big video for you. It is Monday, June 1st, as I record this, and four-star wide receiver Xavier Worthy from Fresno, California, just announced his tops, top six schools. Uh, among those schools, we see Oregon, Auburn, Georgia, LSU, Michigan, and Alabama. Uh, you know, just before he dropped that list last week, I was able to uh, talk with him on Zoom and see where Oregon stands. So let's check out that interview. Well, uh, I'm joined by uh, wide receiver uh, Xavier Worthy uh, out of Fresno. Um, Xavier, how's it going, man? Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Of course, it's going good. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Um, what have what have you been up to these days? What's a, a normal day looking like for you? Uh, wake up at nine, work out, come back, eat my eat my breakfast, morning breakfast, and then get on a couple calls with a couple coaches, and then I go, I eat, go work out again at about like five or six, and that's it. Play the game for the rest of the day. Nice, nice. Yeah, sounds like a a good day. You know, be productive and touch base with coaches. I'm sure you're talking to coaches all the time now since you, you know, uh, would you normally be out of school at, at this time anyway? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Oh, you wouldn't. Okay. So are you, are you still in school right now with online stuff? Uh, we just finished. Just just finished. Okay. All right. Well, happy summer. I know it <laughs> probably came in a, a little bit of a, a weird fashion, but you made it yeah. none, nonetheless, made it through mm -hmm. another year. Um, so what would you say your uh, current height and weight is right now if you've measured that recently? Uh, 6'1", 166. Okay. 6'1", 166, gotcha. So a little bit of a lengthier receiver. Um, kind of what I was hoping to do with the interview was to, um, you know, focus in on Oregon primarily because, you know, that's the focus of our, our site and then kind of take a bigger picture and get a feel of, you know, what the, the your overall recruitment's looking like. Um, so. Starting off with the Ducks, uh, how often would you say you're hearing from Oregon? Like four times every day. Four times every day. And what, what's, what's that like? Is that, like, overwhelming? Is it, like, you look forward to talking to them? Kind of what's that well, like? Look forward to talking to them. Our, all our conversations are always good. We don't really talk about football like that. We just be messing around, joking around and stuff. Yeah, I hear, I hear that from a lot of uh, players. That's kind of, I think, one thing that they like when they talk to coaches mm -hmm. is the, they don't want it. Like, you know football, they know football. Um, that's not, like, something you have to focus on. When you're not talking about football, what, what kind of topics are you guys talking about? Uh, it's either Madden or we just talking about um, – we just talking about some plays maybe or what I'm going to do this season, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, Madden. You get, yeah, I feel like every recruit I talk to either likes, you know, Madden, 2K. Yeah. I'm a huge 2K fan myself, so I, I relate to that. Or uh, Warzone's really big, the new Call of Duty. I don't know if you, if you play that mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I play that. Okay. Would, would you recommend it? I haven't tried it out yet. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's decent. It's decent? Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I'll have to give it a shot. Um. With with the staff, who who would you say you're uh, primarily talking to there? I know a lot of recruits uh, that I talk to. It's kind of a bunch of different coaches. Is there anyone in particular that you know is like your primary recruiter? Maybe. Uh, coach Ryan McClough. Uh, I'm sorry. Who? Oh, the the new wide receiver coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He um. So yeah, he he came over from South Carolina, as I'm sure you know. Um. What what's it kind of been like getting to know him? What what stands out to him to you uh, about him? What's he like? Uh, he's like um, one of my long term coaches uh, that I have now. So like it's really like just the same coach. I really like it though. He really good guy. Awesome, that's cool. Um, have you been staying in touch with uh, your high school coaches as well as you know you guys probably are preparing for next season just in a little bit of a different fashion. Uh, yeah, I talk to my head coach and my super coach like every day. It's like two hours. Wow. Okay. So you're really, you're, it seems like you guys are getting ready for the season, um, mm -hmm. staying on top of the X's and O's. Um, on McClendon, the, the Oregon wide receiver coach, have you guys had a chance to kind of talk about 
your fit in the Oregon offense or maybe like how Oregon could uh, use some of the strengths of your game? What's that conversation been like? Uh, they they told me um, I really like the uh, scheme that they have for me. Like I like they like my the scheme that they told me that I run. That's my favorite route, so like, I really like that offense. How I'm fitting into it. Okay, that's that's good that they have a that you could see yourself, you know, in that offense. What do you think is a uh, maybe your uh, biggest strength as a as a wide receiver, maybe just as a football player? Uh, being able to make a small play a bigger play than what it is. Okay, so yeah, just kind of like making plays in space or just like like on a screen or something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Love love the highlight plays. That's awesome. Um. When we're talking about the Ducks, um, I mean, I know I talked to you about them a while ago. Um, a lot of people talk about family, you know, the uniforms, the facilities. There's a bunch of different things that people like. What What would you say stands out to you the most about the Oregon program? Um, the way they um, the way they operate with the players. They're like, it's more than football over there. They make it like a family a family thing over there. It's football at the end of the day because you're going there for business, but. They make it more than just football. Like, you have a family, like, long term. Great. Great. Yeah. I know a lot of a lot of recruits, they don't want to, you know, just be considered a number. A lot of people I talk to, they talk about, you know, I want to have, like, a life after football, a school that will set me up. Um, you know, it's not a four-year commitment. It's a 40-year decision, that kind of a deal. Does that yeah. kind of factor into to your recruitment at all? Are you talking about that kind of thing with other schools? Yeah, most definitely. Um, one thing that's been cool to follow is, uh, you know, a lot of Oregon commits, once they make that decision, they kind of turn into peer recruiters and, you know, try to get other people to come join them. Um, have you talked to any, any Oregon commits recently? Is anyone, you know, reaching out to you? What's, what's that kind of been like? Oh uh, yeah. I talked to Ty and, um, Ty Thompson and Karan. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, the, the quarterback they have committed and then one of the, one of the receivers that they have. Um, what have your what have your conversations been like with them? I know Ty's a more recent guy, but Chiron was one of the first ones to to pull the trigger and, and join the movement. Yeah, they've just been telling me uh, I already know what to do and stuff like that. Just a little basic conversations. Okay, gotcha. And what what would it be like to um, you know play with uh, a guy like uh, Ty Thompson? Is there like a certain kind of quarterback that you could see yourself playing with, like a certain type of skill set? Um, no, nah, just a quarterback that could, uh just get the ball there because I'm like a really fast receiver, so a quarterback that just know what know like how to use a fast receiver throw the ball early, that'd be perfect. Awesome. Okay, yeah. I've 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 heard about your speed. I know that's like one of the biggest uh talking points with uh, you know, coaches across the country when it comes to you. Do you have any kind of like stats or times to, to kind of put that in perspective to people who have heard about your speed? Oh uh, yeah, I ran a um I ran 10-5 sophomore year and then 21-4 and a 200 sophomore year. Wow. Okay. And those are your PRs for – that's track, right? Yeah. And I will be running the 40 in Oregon and Springfield in July. Okay. In Springfield. So mm -hmm. what – um you're doing the 40 there. Is, is that a what, – what event is that or why are you going to be going up there? Uh, it's, a, it's a combine out there. It's a combine. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I know that um, some recruits are still trying to try to juggle the uncertainty, and summer is a u usually a huge time for circuits and camps. So, is that um, is that the only thing that you have on the schedule as far as like competition or any kind of circuits at the moment? Uh, yeah, because I don't, I don't really like like to do camps like that. It's just not me. I just wanted to go get a forty time and a vertical jump in. Okay, so why? Um, I guess my question would be why. If that's all you're trying to do, what what's the what's the draw to uh, Springfield? Is that to Oregon specifically, or is there some other reason that you're going up there? Oh, I was just gonna knock two birds out in one stone. So like, if I was up there, I'm just gonna take like an unofficial there if they allow students on campus. Okay, and and you said that was July, I believe. Yeah, July 18th. Okay, okay, because yeah, I I know we saw that announcement yesterday, like the dead period got extended. I don't know mm -hmm. if you if you heard about that, but hopefully. Hopefully it'll be a little bit of wiggle room and guys like yourself can start taking some, uh, some trips. Yeah. Um, moving along here. Um, one thing that's cool to follow with, with recruits is, you know, you hear that, you know, good player, good players want to play with good players. 
Um, and we see uh, these teams, you know, building momentum on the recruiting trail. Uh, like we saw Oregon land a big tight end out of Nevada yesterday. Um, what, what's that like for you? Like, do you, you know, take into account these, this is the kind of, these are the players that I'm going to be joining. Like we already have guys in the fold versus maybe someone who doesn't have that many recruits. And then you can kind of be the one that kicks it off. Mm-hmm. Um, it's great to be able to play with uh, guys that's on the same level as you always, because you don't have to worry about being double team. They have to worry about more than just you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no guys like Chiron and Maliki at, uh, at Oregon, they would definitely, you know, be some guys that would attract some attention. Um, have you – so you talked about unofficially visiting Oregon potentially. Have you had a chance to trip up there um, up yet? No, not yet. Okay, so that would be, the, that'd be the first trip for you up there. Um, now kind of just taking a bigger, a bigger look at your recruitment – um, what schools would you say are there like maybe three to five schools that you would say you're hearing from the most these days with all the calls that you're taking? Um, I want to say Bama, Georgia, Oregon, and Michigan. Okay. All, all awesome schools. Um, is there anything in particular that's kind of standing out about um, those schools for you, like a, a approach they're taking or – they're fit for you, something like that? Uh, yeah, they've all been really consistent with me, like showing me that they really want to recruit me and how they want me to be in the offense. Okay. That, yeah, on that, um, you talk about, you know, schools wanting you. One thing we hear with recruits is, you know, there's some recruits that feel like they're wanted versus needed. How, how does that kind of, uh, you know, play into your decision? And how do you view that as a recruit? Like this school wants me versus this school needs me. Uh, my my mom really uh my mom really could tell like who really wants me and stuff like that. So I like have, I go to my mom. I lean on my mom a lot for that stuff because she's there for every call and stuff. So. Yeah, de- definitely a decision that um, is obviously yours in the end. But I'm sure you want you know your family's blessing. Um, a lot of parents want to come to their you know to their kids' games. Uh, you know, Bama and Georgia those would be pretty far. Um, some distance plays a role for some recruits. How does that, you know, factor into you being from California? Could you see yourself going somewhere as far as Alabama or Georgia? Uh, yeah, my mom. My mom said um, she had said something yesterday to yesterday to a coach, but she really wants me to uh, travel because she feel like she raised me to. Uh, she raised me as a young man, so I can be able to travel and do whatever I want as a young man. Absolutely, they're just. Ton, tons of cool places out there. You have a lot of great offers. Um, you kind of staying in the SEC in that area of, of Alabama, Georgia. I saw that you uh, reeled in that LSU offer yesterday. That's that's definitely a huge school. So congrats on that. Um, we've really seen your recruitment take off um, recently, at least since I I talked to you last. Um, you know, you're getting these big schools coming after you. What's the recruiting process been like for you? Some people like the attention. Some people, you know, it's super hectic and they just want to get the process over with. Where's your mind at kind of with that? Uh, I'm the, I'm a really laid back person. So like this, it's like not really like that bad to me. So like, I'm just like, oh, just taking it in. Taking it in. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a good way to look at it. I mean, it's, you're, you don't seem to be in any, you know, rush to make a decision. Um, some people are, um, especially with, you know, visits kind of up in the air. I know that's kind of playing a role for some people. Um, just a couple more for you here and then I'll get you out of here. Um, we talked about you potentially unofficially visiting Oregon in July. Um, have you been working on any kind of visit plans at the moment? Are there some schools like once things open, I for sure want to hit these schools. Um, not, not really. Not really. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see how, how things, uh, how things develop as uh, campuses open up again. Um, so moving past visits, do you have any kind of a uh, commitment timeline uh, at the moment? Like you'd like to have it wrapped up by this, uh, by this time, or maybe you'll draw it out a little bit more? Um, I haven't really talked to my mom about it yet, but I, I want to commit in July or August for sure. In July, August. I got to really talk to my mom about it though. Okay. Gotcha. So it's, it's definitely coming up. That's, that's cool to, cool to hear. Um, and then moving forward from the commitment, are you uh, a player that could maybe see yourself enrolling or graduating early 
at this time or maybe you still have to work that out with your you know school and family uh no i'm, I'm staying um sitting all the time okay um you know you mentioned that you uh run track uh, a sprinter um have you are the schools that are recruiting you uh, maybe Oregon, for instance, are they talking about the possibility of you running track for them as well with, you know, you being such a, a speedster? Uh, they, they said it's all up to me. So if I wanted to run track, they said I um, just let them know and I could just go out there. So that that's what most schools have been, uh, have been saying for you? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that'd be super cool. I know, I know we've seen some players like D'Anthony Thomas run, run track at, uh, at Oregon as well. Um, does that kind of – as a school's track program, you think, have any any kind of influence on your decision, or would you say you're more in it for football and then track would be kind of, you know, a cherry on top? Yeah, I'm more in it for football, but track would be a cherry on top. Okay, cool, cool. Um, last one for you here. I know you mentioned that um, your top six is going to be dropping, uh, I think it's June 1st. Yeah, uh, Monday. Is the, is the last that I saw. Um, do you think you're fairly confident that Oregon would be among among that list at this time? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll uh I'll have to keep an eye on that uh that list. Um, Xavier, just wanted to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Hope you hope you're staying yeah. cool down there in Fresno and staying healthy and uh, wishing you all the best. Hope we can stay in touch. Yes, sir. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. You too.